What is information technology? This question might seem simple, but it has a vast answer. Information technology, often abbreviated as IT, refers to the utilization of computers, software, networks, and other devices to manage and process information. It's the invisible force that powers our daily lives, from the smartphones we can't live without, to the laptops that help us work and play, from the social media platforms that keep us connected, to the online shopping portals that bring the world to our fingertips. Diving deeper into IT, it consists of four main components. First, we have hardware. These are the physical devices that you can touch and feel, like computers, servers, routers, and printers. Then, we have software. These are the programs or applications that run on your hardware. Think about operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, and productivity software like Microsoft Office or Google Docs. The third component is networks. These are the systems that enable devices to communicate and share information. This includes everything from the internet to local area networks to wireless connections. Lastly, we have data. This is the raw information that IT systems process and manipulate. It can be anything from text, images, videos to any other form of digital content. Why does it matter? Here are a few reasons. It brings efficiency by streamlining processes and automating tasks, saving time and resources. It enhances communication through email, messaging apps, and video conferencing. It provides access to information by providing access to vast amounts of information and resources online. And it drives innovation, enabling the development of new technologies and solutions to complex problems. When it comes to the basic IT skills that are essential for beginners, they include computer literacy, internet skills, troubleshooting, and security awareness. With the right knowledge and skills, IT can open up a world of possibilities. Ever pondered the magic that powers your computer? It's a symphony of components working in unison, each playing a vital role in the grand performance. The heart of the matter is the central processing unit, or CPU, often referred to as the computer's brain. It's the maestro responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. Without it, the computer would be nothing more than a collection of silicon and metal. Next, we have the Random Access Memory, or RAM. Picture it as a bustling marketplace, temporary storage that allows the computer to access data quickly. The more RAM you have, the smoother your multitasking experience will be, like having more hands to juggle tasks. For the long-term memory, we turn to the hard drive or solid-state drive. This is the library of your computer, the permanent storage for your files, programs, and operating system. Solid state drives, or SSDs, are the librarians who run faster and more reliably than traditional hard disk drives, or HDDs. The graphics processing unit, or GPU, is the artist of the computer. It handles the display of images and videos on your screen. It's key for gaming and graphic intensive applications, painting a vivid picture for your enjoyment. Beneath all these lies the motherboard. It's the grand stage where all the components come together, connected and ready to perform. Powering this grand performance is the power supply unit, or PSU. It's the life force that supplies power to all the components, ensuring the show goes on. Now consider the input-output ports, or I.O. ports. They're the gateways for peripherals like keyboards, mice, monitors, and external devices, allowing them to join in the grand performance. The unsung hero of this ensemble is the cooling system. Its role is to keep the components from overheating during operation, ensuring the performance doesn't end in a meltdown. Output. To start the grand performance, press the power button, then enter your username and password to access the computer. You're now on the main stage, the desktop, where you can access files, programs, and shortcuts. From here, you navigate using the start menu or dock to access programs and settings. You manage your files and folders with the File Explorer or Finder, much like a stage manager in a theater. To access the World Wide Web, open a browser like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox and type a web address in the address bar. Installing and opening applications allows you to perform specific tasks like word processing, photo editing or gaming. When the curtain falls and it's time to shut down, close all open programs and files, then select Shut Down from the Start menu or Apple menu to safely turn off the computer, ending the grand performance until next time. So the next time you power up your computer, remember the grand performance that's about to unfold, each component playing its part to bring you the magic of computing. 
Congratulations for being with Colitech to the end of the video. You've learned about the basics of IT, components of laptops and desktops, as well as how to operate a computer. With practice, you'll become more confident in your IT skills and be able to explore the digital world with ease. In the next video, we dive deeper into the fascinating world of IT. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember the world of IT is at your fingertips, ready to be discovered. Do subscribe to Colitech, comment, like, and share.